We're given three polynomials and asked to determine the best name of the polynomial, the leading coefficient, the constant term, and the degree of the polynomial. So all these are polynomials, but based upon the number of terms, we have a more specific name for the polynomial. So for x plus nine, because we have two terms connected by addition or subtraction, the best name for this polynomial is a binomial. The next polynomial is a single term, so the best name for this is a monomial. And our third polynomial has three terms, and therefore the best name for this polynomial is a trinomial. Next, we want to determine the leading coefficient. A coefficient is a number multiplying a variable. The leading coefficient is the coefficient of the term with the highest degree in the polynomial. Looking at x plus nine, x has degree one, nine has degree zero, so x to the first is a leading term. And since we can write x as one x or one times x, the leading coefficient is one. For our monomial, of course, there's only one term, so this is the leading term. And since three x to the fifth means three times x to the fifth, the leading coefficient is three. Looking at our trinomial, the highest degree term with degree eight is the first term. So four x to the eighth is the leading term, and four x to the eighth means four times x to the eighth, so the leading coefficient is four. The constant term is a term with no variable factors and also has degree zero. So looking at x plus nine, the constant term is nine. For three x to the fifth, there is no constant term, which means the constant term would have to be zero. And then finally for our trinomial, the constant term is seven. Notice seven has no variable factors and has degree zero. And then finally, the degree of the polynomial is the highest degree of any of the terms in the polynomial. So for x plus nine, the highest degree term is the first term x with degree one, and therefore the polynomial has degree one. Of course, for the monomial, there's only one term which has degree five because we have x to the fifth, so the degree of the polynomial is degree five. And then finally for our trinomial, the highest degree term is the first term with degree eight, and therefore the degree of the polynomial is eight. I hope you found this helpful.